Hey there, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm covering something I never imagined I would ever cover, but here we are. Broadcom has just made VMR Workstation Pro and Fusion free for personal use. That's right. That's a sentence I never, ever in my whole existence thought I would ever say. But yeah, it's free now. And it's absolutely huge and uh, definitely the final nail in VirtualBox's coffin because, well, the only thing going for them was that they were free and uh, Workstation was not. But now that's not the case anymore. If you're going to use it for personal use, I mean, server lab, that kind of stuff, you don't got to pay for Workstation anymore. So, like, there's no reason to use VirtualBox anymore. Workstation is fairly more powerful. Uh, I'm sure Fusion is quite powerful as well, but it's not within my area, expert, my area of expertise, honestly. Fusion, that is. But I'm pretty sure it's highly capable as well. Uh, Workstation, obviously, uh, needs no introduction in that sense. It's a very powerful suite. It has so many features. It brings so much to the table. It has been my favorite hypervisor for 10 years now. Almost 10 years. Uh, as I got into the whole hypervisor thing back in like 2015 and so nine years, let's put it that way, but I've been using it ever since and it's been well, my favorite. I started with VirtualBox, but I've, I, I found it was quite limited in some ways. And then I moved over to workstation and I have not looked back ever since. And now it's free. So even better in that sense, like it's a very powerful platform it offers so much but so much in comparison uh it makes VirtualBox just look like just straight up like, like a toy honestly and uh, so it's a huge move from broadcom i feel like they sensed that they've made a mistake by uh and uh by canceling the free tier of esxi I, I feel like they finally realized the, how much of a mistake that was because ESXi, ESS, EXXI's free tire, uh, tier was like very handy for a lot of people that wanted to learn the platform without, uh, you know, without actually having to make that sort of commitment because the license is quite expensive and now it's under a subscription uh, plan, which is even worse in that regard. So it, it's quite hard if you want to learn the platform you know it, it doesn't make sense they have to pay for it for your own home lab if you're just using it for as a t teaching tool rather than actually you know using it for your own benefit you know commercially and so on so it, it, it was a bit of a hit the community didn't take too well but obviously i mean <laughs> it, it it's quite it's quite confusing as to why they would do such thing, because ESXi has been has had their free tier for so long now, and suddenly taking that away from people is not taken very well. But they have somewhat redeemed themselves. I mean, I wish they would bring ESXi back. As you can see here, uh, the main difference is now that once you have it set up for personal use without a license key, you're going to have a watermark stating that it's only for personal use and you're not supposed to be using it commercially. But that's the only difference. That's literally the only thing that's going to be different, the free version from the paid version, which is uh, the commercial license. So basically, uh, I mean, look, customers who use Fusion Workstation for work require a paid commercial subscription. That's obviously, uh, that that's quite obvious. Uh, I mean, that's the whole point of commercial license at the end of the day. If you're using it for your home lab, it's free. And uh, it's something that I never imagined would ever happen. And Player uh, and Fusion Player are discontinued now, which makes sense as Player was like Workstation Lite. Like a, your, uh, it was a way to have a little bit of the VMware experience with uh, fewer features for free and now well workstation's free so what's the point of having a limited version on workstation if you know you get the whole thing for free the whole feature set but 
Yeah, I would say that will definitely help with Broadcom's image, which has been absolutely destroyed after what they did to VMware earlier this year. Um, around last year as well, the whole new licensing systems and, you know, ending with the free tier thing for ESXi, that was terrible in so many ways, many, many more ways than one. That was very disappointing. But, hey, uh, I, I feel like they're finally on the right path, you know, back into being appreciated again by people by, you know, giving that to the community, which is, I mean, if you've used Workstation before, uh, in any degree, you probably know how much better it is as a hypervisor than anything else, really. The feature set's just quite complete. It just has everything that you could potentially need for your Helm Lab needs. And um, the virtual network editor thing offers so much. There's a lot of depth to it that other platforms just don't have it. And uh, it's not only that. I mean, when it boils down to nesting, when it boils down to GPU acceleration, it's also a lot more powerful than anything else in the market, really. And the fact that you can get it for free now is just mental. You know, obviously, it is, it, it's a free with many quotes on it. Like I said, you cannot use it commercially. But if you're using it as a learning platform, if you're using it at home, just, you know, to mess around with different Linux distros, if you want to mess around with older Windows versions and stuff, you can do that free of charge now. So quite fascinating, really. A very nice move from uh, Broadcom because it's just hands down the best platform in the market. And the fact you can just get that for free now is just mind-blowing really it's a huge move from them and i would say a step in the right direction if they really want to you know they really want to make up for what they did because killing esxi's free tier was a terrible terrible mistake in more ways than one uh they i i don't think they they had the full idea of what they did by doing that they basically shot themselves in the foot with that decision. That was terrible decision making. But now they've taken a decision that's very important, you know, by making workstation free. It will allow people to have access to pens down best hypervisor in the market, like I said. It's it's a huge, huge move and we gotta we gotta really congratulate them and thank them for that because it's it's really that's something that I never imagined would ever happen. You know, workstation free. Just, I mean, I, I, I'm mind blown. It, it took me a while to, you know, kind of let that sink in. At first, I was like, what? Nah, that, that's got to be a joke. Looked at a calendar. Oh, wait, it's not April 1st. Hold up. What, what the hell is going on here? And it turns out they have done and did it. It's, uh, well, Let's bring up workstation here. Uh, I'm a bit <laughs> confused moving around that stuff because I'm well. It, it turns out workstation doesn't like my my 3080 for some reason. I cannot run it on my desktop anymore. I'm having like weird display errors within the VM. Doesn't happen with Windows itself, but the VM is black screening, freezing, and I'm getting like many TDR errors and so on, uh, which. I really don't know what's going on because gaming wise it works fine, but I just cannot do anything workstation related anymore. If I have GPU acceleration on, it just doesn't work. I get constant black screen. So I had to use my laptop and as my laptop's microphone is terrible, I just sent the signal over via NDI. Now we have, I'm recording from my main computer, so audio setup, setups from my desktop, but the display itself is straight out of my laptop. So don't find it weird that there's just uh, two VMs because it's, um, I haven't really used it all that much, really.
not my i mean because obviously my desktop is my main vm environment that's where i used to run my vms from but i guess nvidia or maybe vmware they don't really want me using that anymore as my main environment because well it's single-handedly just not running anymore <laughs> it's frustrating I, I was trying to figure out how to fix it and uh, apparently the only way that I can fix it for now, I mean mitigate it, would be disabling GPU acceleration, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of, you know, using uh, Workstation after uh, at the end of the day, because its main key element is the fact that it supports proper GPU acceleration. It's super fast. So think that it is, I suppose, for the time being, as far as VMware towing goes it's not the end of the world uh, at the end of the day it works as you can see um that's the latest update right there from 17 in its full glory working as amazing as it has ever worked and now you don't gotta pay for it so yeah that's basically the video really uh it's just uh sharing the news because i think this is something that should be shared it should be spread around it's huge if you if you if you play with vm especially this is going to be very handy and it's uh it's an outstanding experience in comparison to anything else really it's just a uh, another game altogether and the fact it's free now it, you just don't gotta even think just go and download it and install it and have fun that's that's basically it really <laughs> do not do not punter, just go and download it and have fun because this is a huge step into, you know, the pinnacle of uh, virtualization within, you know, a type two hypervisor, obviously hypervisor wise per se, it's not really the best, the best out there really is, you know, KVM is on, but type two wise, I would say hands down the best hypervisor we got really and uh thank you broadcom for such an amazing decision i know it must have been very hard to take that one it's uh <laughs> but you know it only makes sense and it will absolutely make the user base grow a lot because there's a lot of people that wanted to learn vms but you know they look at a price tag of a single license and then they look at virtualbox and be like hey, i gotta, gotta use virtualbox instead and they, then they get very frustrated because virtualbox is terrible and now you just go and do that for free so you get a great platform to begin with you learn with a great platform with uh, an industry standard because like with VirtualBox, you can learn VirtualBox, get really good at it, but professionally, you're not going to be using that. It's not a market. It's not an industry standard by any means. So the fact you can actually learn on something that is industry standard, that's exactly why I feel like uh, v uh, VMware Broadcom itself uh, getting rid of the free license for uh, ESXi, that was a terrible terrible mistake in that sense because when people want to learn they want to learn with whatever is the industry standard and if well if esxi is now behind a paywall quote unquote for that kind of stuff it, it gets more complicated so you have to learn on something that is not an industry standard and then when you move on to something that is an industry standard which is esxi how else are you supposed to learn? I mean, your company is probably going to have to fund you a license. They're going to train you after you get hired or something like that. You cannot, like, get the experience beforehand, before you get the job anymore, you know? Not legally, at least. I mean, if you go through legal means without actually paying for a license, you cannot learn it anymore. And go like, okay, so I know how to use ESXi. I know how to use vCenter and so on. You cannot do that anymore. Not without a license. So that's terrible. But on the other hand, uh, on type two hypervisor land, you can finally learn how to play around with them with something that is in fact an industry standard. It's used by a lot of companies around the world out there. So you can just, you know, start with something that's really, really good, a really good training aid now, especially. And uh, great move from them.
But I really wish they would reconsider the whole ESXi thing, because ideally, it would be very nice if we could get Workstation free for personal use and also ESXi for personal use and the combo of both, you know, being able to virtualize, you know, nest ESXi within Workstation, which is something uh, I used to do a lot in the past and was a lot of fun. And I miss being able to do that. It, it would be great if we could do that again, you know, have that combo wombo right there uh, with ESXi and Workstation. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's better than nothing. Let's put it that way. It could it could be worse. It could be devoid of free ESXi and devoid of free <laughs> Workstation. So at the very least, we have Workstation now, which is huge, 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 huge. absolutely. That's something that I that probably would never happen under Dell's help. So, uh, a great step forward in a sense. Uh, with that being said, uh, it's time to bid farewell. Hope you all enjoy the news, enjoy the free toy, and play to your heart's cotton this time around entirely for free. <laughs> if you if you have any questions, comment sections right down below. Feedback's much appreciated as usual. Y'all, take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye. Uh,